Hello, it's Peter here from Woodrow Handcrafts in Gympie and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set your Janome Memorycraft 15000 up to do a scant quarter inch seam or even if you just want to adjust your the position of your quarter inch seam if it's just slightly too big or too small. So to start with on the 15000 press the home button, press the t-shirt and go to patchwork and that will set the machine up in our quarter inch seam ready for piecing. Uh, it gives you three options, you got your straight stitch, your locking stitch or your lock-o-matic. So the locking stitch will do a tie off at the start and finish of the seam. Lock-o-matic will come forward and automatically reverse at the start of your seam and at the end of your seam just press the reverse. It doesn't matter which one you want to use. You'll see down the bottom here on the screen uh, you've got your needle position is set to 8.3 by default and your stitch length is set to 1.8 by default. If you want to adjust them use the plus and minus. The, the one we're interested in today is the 8.3 so our needle position. So 8.3 if you want your quarter inch seam to be slightly narrower than a true quarter inch which is what your quarter inch foot is set up for press the plus button and you'll move the needle to the right by 0.1 of a millimetre and set that up like that. Now the easiest way to do this and check that you're getting it in the right spot is to set up uh, your machine with the quarter inch foot on and put your quilting ruler underneath the foot and we can just check that. So with the ruler underneath the foot I'm just going to wind the needle down and you can see here that the needle's dropping straight onto this line here which is our quarter inch seam. Just wind that back up a little bit so I can adjust it. If you go 8.4, 8.5, drop that down and you can see the needle's just off the uh, quarter inch seam now, just running a little bit narrower. And just set that up, if I go to 8.7 now, it's well and truly inside that line and then just set that up how you'd like it. Sew it out on a test piece, measure that that is what you want and off you go.